Hello and welcome to my channel Excelzilla. In this video, we are going to understand the if function uh, in a nested way, which means if function would be uh, jointly uh, work with concatenate function. A uh, very interesting formula. You can add this in your various day-to-day uh, uh, -day activity where you are, wherever you are working. Uh, but before watching this video, if you have not seen my uh, simple if function or a concatenate video, then I would appreciate you watch that video first before uh, watching this. I will post uh, that link on the description box. So let's start with this formula. Uh, now, as you can see uh, on my D column, I have a name mentioned over here and uh, on E column we have a gender. So what we are trying to achieve here is with basis on the gender, we need to add the title. So if there is uh, a male, uh, we need to add a Mr. And if it is a female, we need to add a Miss. As you can see, the formula I have already written over here. Uh, but let us uh, let me take you to this formula. So this is if function within a nested way. So starting with equal to sign if tab if this cell is equal to male so remember any text will come in double quotes okay then what should you do comma concatenate so c u n opening the bracket so concatenate with the title and with the name so let's do this so concatenate with the title would be mister because we have selected a criteria as male closing the quotes comma and giving the cell reference. So let's see what does it do. So as you can see, it has given Mr. Anurag Kumar. But there is no space over here. So let's add a space over here. So to add a space, let's click an F2. After comma, let's add a double quotes with a space and then comma. And then enter. So as you can see, the Mr. Anurag Kumar is added. This formula is incomplete. I'll show you what is missing over here. So let's double click on this plus sign. And as you can see, the false for females, it is coming false because we haven't given the criteria what will happen if it doesn't meet the M or what is the false criteria we have only given for the true criteria so let's now add the false criteria over here before the bracket to a comma if it is false then concatenate with miss close the quotes comma with cell number D3 so D3 comma sorry before that let's add a space over here comma and enter okay there is a bracket missing let's enter it again so Excel had understood and added an additional bracket let's click over here and let's double click so as you can see, the Excel has made the changes and we have now Mr. and Miss added on each cell. If you have any doubts and question regarding this video, please post on the comment box. Thank you. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get my new video updates. Thank you.